All right. So I have to do something that I never thought I would do. And that is leave something that I love. Uh, it's not a matter just of leaving a group. It's a situation where I have to step back from something that I have committed 51 years of my life to do. I have no regrets. I have a wonderful life behind me. I will still have a wonderful life ahead of me. I am not going to separate myself from any of you individually. The state will require me to say away from the context of the team for six months. I will still, as far as we know now, be able to work with NCFDP and continue that process. And those of you that come to NCFDP can still work directly with me as far as we know. That doesn't mean it will necessarily happen for sure. We still have some things we need to get straight on that. Um, I guess you could say I'm the luckiest coach in the country. I have a program that I started from scratch uh, that has been successful, that the people on the team have gained life skills, have gained fencing skills, and continue to this day to cherish their memories on the team. So you saw a letter that Keith Lander wrote that was pub published or posted on the bulletin board after the, after the women won the ACC. And you could see how proud one of our alums is, a former assistant coach, of the way in which we did that. The way in which our athletes, our people, our coaches, our, our, everyone else that was participating and watching that event contributed to a victory. And not just any victory. The first time that our women officially won the ACC championship. Many times in your life, you're going to have defining moments. Moments that you will relive any time you need something positive. That day, that afternoon, that result, seeing the look on your faces, seeing the joy in your hearts, I will never forget. And you won't either. We all have a bond, and that bond will never go away. We're always joined. I will always be there for you. If you need someone to talk to, if you need help finding a job, if you need anything, I'll help. All you have to do is ask. I think Sydney gave me a compliment that I don't think she understood how important it is to me. She said that even if we had lost, we hadn't won the championship, that I would still have loved, respected, and look forward to working with everybody on the team the same way as if we won. <laughs> it's true. But that comment impacted me greatly. Because that's what I've always striven to do. That's always what I wanted, is to have my team understand that I cared for them no matter what. And if they cared for each other the same way, we could accomplish anything. And certainly on that day we did. But we all invested in that together. Okay, men, you got a challenge. 
you have just as much talent. Okay, you're going to have even more next year. You need to step up and do the same thing because you can. Doesn't matter what other people think. Doesn't matter what the announcer says about what was expected or not expected. You can do it. The women can do it again. Notre Dame was a great team and they proved that at the NCAAs. But we were a greater team on that day. Individually and together. I can't tell you how happy I am for you. But I'm also happy for the men that supported you. I'm happy for the energy that everyone gave that day, that time. It will bond us forever. Like I said earlier. Um, I'm not going to take your time giving you advice. But there is, um, there's some things that I will write to you in the context of things that I think are important in life and things that I tried to build our program around that many of you haven't always bothered to read in the past. On Teamworks, there's our core values. There's a commitment to excellence. There are some of the rules that we published. And I don't think many of you have opened those, those uh, <coughs> sites to look at. In particular, I want you to look at both the team values and the commitment to excellence. Commitment to excellence, I'm actually in the process of updating. Um, not because I've changed my mind about it, but because I didn't state it as well as I would like to. But I believe in all of you, individually and together. And I always will. And I believe in our coaching staff. And I always will. I hope that tomorrow, we'll get some positive information about keeping our staff together, keeping um, every aspect of our program the way we believe it should be. Okay? Um, part of what is going to be discussed tomorrow is um, Bubba Cunningham's approach to the future of our program. I can guarantee you it's positive, just based on the conversations that I've had with him. Um, but we don't know the details of how and when he's going to make the decision. Okay? But you will have, I believe, some input to that. I don't know that that input will be tomorrow. Um, but I believe he will invite you to do so. Um, If you ever have any questions before this year is over you know, about our program, about fencing, about any aspect of your life that you think I could help with, please ask them. Okay? Um, I thank you and all the people that came before you. Close to 1,200 athletes that have been in our program for what you've given to me. Like I said, I'm the luckiest coach in the country. Thank you.